Hey everyone, John Velasco here with Phone Arena. I just got in our HP Veer 4G review unit. It's going to do a quick unboxing, show you the handset, and also what else is inside the box. In terms of the uh, device going on sale, it's going to start uh, May 15th for $100 for on contract. Um, as far as the packaging is concerned, it's pretty much straightforward, just like any other AT&T device out there. You have that orange on white box. You notice there's no Palm branding whatsoever whatsoever anywhere on the on the uh, box itself so it's strictly called the HP VR 4G um, in the back you have some useful information such as it's HSPA plus enhanced with backhaul you have Wi-Fi a GPS and also a 5 megapixel camera so let's take a look at the device notice the picture there it's a pretty good representation of its size it's amazingly compact so let's uh, take a look at it here so here's the handset and of course, just holding it for the first time, it's just really compact, um, easy to hold with one hand. You can notice um, it's a very tiny as well. It's the size of a credit card, as they say here. So here's a credit card, put on top of it, that's pretty much the size. So it's pretty good. Um, we have also the original palm print here, just for a comparison. You just notice its overall length and width. It's a little, bit, a little more compact. Thickness, though, it's almost going to be the same, uh, but you just notice the uh, how miniature it looks compared to the uh, Palm Pre. It could be considered the Baby Pre as well. Um, so, uh, let's turn on the device, just take a look at it, and then I'll show you some of the other stuff inside the packaging while it's, while it's booting up here. So, put that right there. So, you have your usual set documentation, it looks like. Quick start guide, you have get a free app, some phone numbers, and of course the SIM card, which is probably preloaded inside there. Unfortunately, the uh, HP, HP VR 4G utilizes a proprietary port for its data connection charging. It's not a micro USB port that we're traditionally seeing all the time now, so uh, you have to use this cable to get it connected and use that with the wall charger right here so you can power it. And finally, it's really hard to say why they couldn't include three and a half millimeter headset jack into the handset itself. So here's an adapter for it. You got to carry it around with you if you want to be able to listen to some music. And of course, it goes in right here on the side. You can notice the uh, the area right here with the pin connectors snaps into place there. Um, and you have the dedicated power button on the right top corner here. Pretty good feel. Um, very, it's uh, raised. You have the vibrate switch. The area on top here is for the SIM card slot. So that's where you place it in there, it's behind the plastic flap. And you also have, looks like a spot here for the lanyard, right there. And you have the volume rocker over on the left hand side. In the back it's uh, the 5 megapixel camera, no flash, it's not even autofocus. And in the front you have actually a 2.6 inch display, 320 by 400 pixels. And the device is powered by a, an 800 megahertz Qualcomm 7230 Snapdragon processor. So it should make the experience pretty quick here compared to uh, the original Palm Pre and even the Palm Pre Plus models that we've seen. As far as the the other thing, it has a built it has a portrait style keyboard just like the original Palm Pre. I'll show you that here. And the nice thing about it, we tested, we just checked it out a little bit. It's uh, pretty responsive, and on top of that, they're raised a little bit more, and they have a better tactile response, uh, far better than the original one. So we definitely like the keyboard, even though it is extremely cramped, as you could tell. But so here's the WebOS 2.2 experience. Pretty much uh, all the features that we've seen already with um, with the platform. It's great for multitasking. The thing about it, it's more than responsive versus uh, other other devices out there. Um, in the middle here, you have that t gesture area, just like what we see, and it's looking like it's a pretty good, pretty uh, responsive experience so far. We're checking out, so uh, we'll test it out over the next quarter, next uh, few days here. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a review up shortly. But in the meantime, you can learn more about the HP VR4G for AT&T at our website, phonearena.com.